Hi, welcome back. Golden Empress Collection here. Just call me Golden. Taurus, this is your June 2022 reading. Of course, whenever you find this reading, that's when it's meant for you. It's literally timeless. So, I, you know, I've kind of did a pre-card shuffle here, and I'm curious to see what's going to come out. Um, I did see the devil just try to pop out there for a second. So there could be something that's real karmic that's around you right now, Taurus, and you're having to learn how to control it. It's really making you question yourself, okay? It's really making you question what is love. Do you love yourself? Why are you dealing with whoever it is that you're dealing with? And it's going to be okay is what I feel like. You know, some of you guys are really struggling with whatever thought process this is. Some of you are single. You've been alone for a while. The rest of you, you are in a relationship and you're wondering if this person has eyes for someone else, okay? So, yeah, you've got the nine of pentacles energy, but in the same time that this flipped over, we've got this sun card. So, definitely a Leo vibration. Yeah. You have such happy energy here. Ooh, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that you have been extremely prosperous. You have kept to yourself. You've been doing what you need to do. And at the same time, some of you guys, if you're not dealing with a Leo, Pisces, or a Cancer, you are manifesting something wonderful. You are, you know, and I feel like you've had a vision, okay? And I say that because of the carrots that she's holding up. Everybody knows that carrots is good for eyesight. So the vision that you have for yourself is one of prosperity. This blue bird that's sitting on top of her head is a representation of royalty. You take very good care of yourself, Taurus, and that's a good thing, okay? And if you're not, you're really thinking about how you can Okay, I feel like some of you guys are manifesting. I already know it. Yeah. And you feel like something bad must have happened to this person or there's something that's gone wrong because, I don't know, it's not coming through just yet with this hangman is what I want to say. It is coming though. It's definitely coming. And it's like that Piscean energy. It's almost like something has to end or you finally get to make this choice for this new lover very soon okay and if I didn't say it guys this is love money and career okay so let's do with the love let's do with the love six of sword yeah you got somebody coming in here for you I know that there's someone who wants you to kind of um help you I don't think they want to help you. I think this is you rowing this particular boat in the Six of Swords. But notice here that this is someone who's taking either care of the elderly or this is someone who, Taurus, wants you to take them with you when you go. Because this is your boat, right? And But here's the thing. I think that you've been doing your work. I, think, I feel like you actually made a choice. You found a new sort of love. Maybe this might even be a new job. You, you might even be really, really paid, Taurus. And for some particular reason, when you leave whatever situation this is, or you, you make this choice, this person right here, because I don't see this as you, this person right here wants to take all this baggage with them when it's time to step into something new. And you're really going to have to think about whether or not you want to do that. I think that's what this major love choice is. How and My ears are just ringing. My ears are ringing, which means to me, it's definitely a spiritual message when you hear ringing of ears. But I'm going to say that with the Six of Swords, you would need to do a cleanse, if that makes sense. Because when I hear ringing the way that I'm hearing it now, it's because of the way that something is communicating with you. It's the Aquarius energy of communication. And I feel like somebody wants you to regret the choice you make. They want to cause confusion in some way, shape, or form. For some of you guys, this is a person that you know. It's that person that's sitting in the boat with the Six of Swords. Um, they're trying to block you here. I promise you they're trying to block you. And I don't even know why. It could be a scorpionic energy, but it, they're causing conflict on purpose. They're, they're causing conflict on purpose. Yeah. I think that this person might be jealous of how well you've taken care of yourself. And the fact, here's the other thing, Taurus. Some of you guys, you are single. Some of you guys are like, if you are, you just, hmm. someone's single here. So I, I'm not sure how I want to say it. I see that, you know, it's you 
in a love relationship, in a love situation where you've made a choice to have multiple options here. You can come and go as you please. Okay, this is men men and women. You know, you can come and go as you please. You you possibly have some, some dark shadow secrets here too, you know. But there's all about this love ending as well so you can start this new beginning. I hope you're not confused about what it is that you're trying to do here. I really do. I think that you love someone. See? Yeah, you've got multiple options. Three of Cups and Seven of Cups. It's the Ten of Cups energy here, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Either that or... let me Tell me about what's going on with this choice that you're making. Ooh, I told you. Somebody found somebody here, Taurus. Because now you have a counterpart. There's a lot of different people here. Someone's making a choice and they are manifesting that they have the opportunity to do something amazing. Somebody's soulmate's getting ready to walk back through the door. And you can't even make this up. They're in it, like I told you, if you've been manifesting this person, trying to call somebody in, you've been single, you've had many dates, you know, some of these people were just snake ass people, some of them were hoes. I mean, and I see this because I see the snake here. I see someone whose dress is like way too short. You know, someone who doesn't care, someone who would rather be out here partying and drinking, but that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for the one that's going to be solid, stable, committed. You're looking for the one that talks to spirit because I'm noticing here, while her hair is white, she is divine, right? She's the one that has the weird looking skirt that's too short. So you're like, no, I can't mess with that one, you know? So someone's looking at this other option here. Like this is the diamond, whoever this, you know, fire sign doesn't have to be but whoever this managerial person is the person that wears the crown whoever this person is this crown surpasses whatever this one is it's like this person someone all right someone has options is what i'm going to say one of these options puts a crown on like it you know is really doing something but really what you're finding is it's the person that's sitting in the in the boat trying to take your energy saying hey help me go here but i'm going to bring my baggage with me they're not wearing a true crown you have someone here where you have to choose the person with the true crown somebody did or someone's choosing you one of the two some there is a soulmate team getting ready to come back together here and the, and i believe there's going to be happiness that comes with it but the third party individual that's kind of in the middle of this or if there's other people that could be a karmic lesson for somebody. Ooh, look at this. Look, I'm telling you. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to get rid of their hoes. That's what it feels like, Taurus. I, You know, or, yeah, nope, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. This love offer is meant to come in. The universe was waiting for you to actually choose this particular person. Taurus, I'm kind of proud of you because it was hard for you to make this choice. It was hard for you to do all of these manifestations. I feel like you did it multiple times. And finally, you possibly hooked up with the right people that told you that when you're manifesting someone like that, you must be patient. You cannot sit here and create things that say, oh, I'm manifesting and I don't want, and, and you put the characteristics that you don't want, right? Don't even speak on those. You started speaking on the things that you needed in life. You needed someone who's going to be emotionally committed to you. You know, someone who was solid and steadfast. Someone who would take action when it came to making the choice for you. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm telling you this. Look, you guys are stepping into a brand new relationship here. And there's actually commitment here. This is a true commitment love offer where someone is actually going to be just saying thank you this is you know it's it's the opposite of oh let me take you for granted let me you know lose you let me you know just chalk it up and be the one that got away blah 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 no this is someone recognizing you for who you are Taurus and saying thank you thank you for being as special as you are thank you for allowing me the opportunity to even see your true shine past all these others you know what's crazy is there i mean there could have been others in this person's life that they were holding on to these and these people were waiting um but it doesn't matter because this person loves you that's the only way to describe it here taurus they love you you know, they do have definitely a bit of an ego, and I think you will see it. They do move slowly, okay? 
but they want loving with you. They do, and they're going to wait. Maybe you need to wait as well, okay? Wait, and uh, don't just rush into anything. Take your time. Allow spirit to guide you in the right direction. Look for those red flags with whoever this is because it's a soulmate. It is. And I feel like this person, if you protect yourself in the way that you're supposed to by loving yourself here, this new opportunity will be something that's so blessed, you know, and I'm just, I'm not going to lie. Everybody's going to be completely envious of you. I mean, it's like, you're going to be saying, oh, you know, I'm, you know, Susie Smith from the middle of Minnesota and I'm getting ready to marry this big, you know, movie star, something along those lines. Oh yeah. Yeah, you are. See? And I just, I think that some people are jealous of your happiness. I do, you know, with this energy right here. Um, but your success is not anything to do with them. And you're just going to keep it pushing here with this. You're going to keep it pushing and you're going to say, okay, I got this. I'm in love. I'm going to, you know, do what I need to. This person is going to reciprocate with you. Okay. It's finally time for you to receive just do here with this. I'm yeah, I'm telling you, it's marriage. Some of you guys might end up going to the, to the altar, like the, what do you call it? Justice of the peace. But it's marriage. It's the four of wands. Your twin flame is returning to help show you happiness and abundance. Nine of cups. I'm I'm proud of you, Taurus. I'm proud of you. And I'm happy that you reflect and give back to the community is also what I'm hearing. Whatever this is, it's a blessing for you so that you can be on the path moving forward. Don't allow someone to... So just, just, oh, I hear like stop your shine. Whoever this is, it's this person with the white hair. I'm telling you, because this blonde hair keeps coming out and they try to tell you things. They try to tell you things, I think, to throw you off. And that's not meant for you, Taurus. Taurus, you are supposed to make your own choice. You're supposed to use your wise, wise intuition here about who the devil really is, babe. <clears throat> And how they want to hang you up. Mm, you cannot make this reading up. Tell me about this Three of Cups. I want to know why this person is so jealous of you. Because this Devil card came out. Why is this Three of Cups person so jealous of you? It doesn't matter though. You're going to reunite with whoever this Twin Flame is. Tell me about why this person is so jealous of you. Because you're lucky. I told you. Because you're blessed. Because people honor you. Man, you cannot make this up. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. That's why they're jealous of you because they know you're headed into success. And there is nothing that's going to stop them from the shine that's coming in for you. I tell you, you're working at it too. See, Six of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. We're just kind of clarifying what's happening here again. So I'm going to say, just go ahead and put your work in. Get your work in. Listen to the messages that are coming in from Spirit. Do not block whoever this person is that gives you the tingles whoever this person is that makes you feel some type of way like extremely attractive very sexy making you you know and they're going to put in the effort and they're going to work for it as well that's not someone that it's going to make you come out of your shell is what i just picked up on okay there, there's a very sexual strong desire with whoever this particular person is yeah they are in the, your haters definitely going to make some sort of move. And if this is, if this is two females, right. And there's a male in the mix here. One of the females could even be friends with the other one. She's such a hater. She will make a move on your twin flame, knowing that this person is supposed to be with you, but just can't stand the fact that this person's coming in for you. Kind of like the whole Cinderella and the stepsisters type energy. Oh yeah. They see that you're stepping into marriage and they're freaking out trying to figure out how they can sabotage you and take from you. But they're not going to because this is you. You're the queen of wands. You're the one that is going to receive, you know, blessings. Just, I, you know, all day today, I just keep thinking to myself, don't take my kindness for weakness. So that might be what you need to be shouting as well. I told you because your opportunity is here. All right. And don't let anyone make you feel like you don't deserve it or there's something where you've got you know less than or some sort of lack it's just not there it's not there your sole purpose is coming through here you're going to know exactly what you need to do that's what i feel i truly do with this two of pentacles here you just need to keep it together it think good things are coming prosperity is coming someone who's going to give to you is coming tell me about taurus's money because I see everything looking very, very well for you. Love is definitely coming in. 
You know, when we talk about money, that's always something that we value. So you actually have the Ace of Baskets here again, okay, with the Son of Baskets. So you have some sort of, um, well, relationship offer, right? Something that you hold dear. Oh, wow. That's all major arcana. I told you, your money, every your whole situation, your whole life, everything that you value is going to go very, very well. There's going to be complete transformation once you make this change into something better. You have to cut something off here. You do. I Whatever it is you feel like you need to be cutting off to step into this new abundance, that's what you need to do. When you make this choice for your life, your entire life will change. Remember that Libra card that we just saw? Well, this is Dr. Buzzard. This is the man who knows how to work the courtroom, Taurus, to make things go in your favor. So this doesn't necessarily need to be a courtroom. This is just that 3D reality of how my life is going. You know, Taurus says, I've got this option. I've got that option. Who do I choose? You choose the one that's going to make you fall in love. The one that made you fall in love. Okay. You could definitely got a hater around you though. And I am, I, and I, and what feels bad about it is that this person is supposed to be family, you know, and this person could try to stop your money. I mean, this person, whew, let's just say when spirit comes into you and talks to you, about whatever's happening here, you need to listen because now you have the star card at the bottom of the deck. They are trying to heal something here with all of these love offers. You have three aces. I've actually seen two cups twice and the ace of wands twice. You guys have the opportunity to do something very, very special here. Love, sex, marriage, commitment, peace, and prosperity. When your money becomes involved with all of this, there will be some sort of change. For some of you guys, when it comes to your money, I do see the death card. You, you, I mean, you can't, you can't knock that. But I also see that is once you let go, you also may, and because of death, there might be something where you receive some sort of inheritance of some sort. Now, I also see here that, I mean, you're just getting all major arcana. So Taurus... It's up to you how you alchemize the situation. I think spirit is really guiding you in the, the right direction. I believe that once Mercury went direct, um, we still are in shadow period, things opened up for you. And it allowed some sort of karmic release for some of you guys with your finances based on the fact that you're going to be making this choice now. Yeah, it's got, you're going to have to be smart with whatever it is that you choose to do. This is someone who is taking action towards legal affairs here. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, and don't be so, don't be overly pushy here, okay? Because when this reconciliation comes back in, you have all major arcana that have come out here again in in one hand. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune, Railroad Bill, Gula Jack, and them bones. And what I'm going to say is, if there's something that was done in like a past life energy, then you know you you could feel like you are delayed. There might be something that comes up with that, but this could also be that other person. You know, like I said, you're dealing with the delay. So I just, I see that this is somebody, your, your whole star, your whole opportunity, everything that's going to happen for you is love, money, career all at one time. It's just going to be like, everything is, is gravy everything is good and you're going to have to be able to help control this situation and reject any offers that don't serve you and will keep you delayed moving forward into your prosperity is what i'm hearing in regards to your money okay there's a lot of work ethic behind what i'm seeing in regards to your money yeah this is, and with these major arcanas this is all coming up very quick fast in a hurry for some of you guys i'm hearing don't spend too much on your wedding Okay, you can still have a happy day here, Ten of Cups energy, without spending too much. You guys are getting ready to, look, you have another ace, the Ace of Swords. You guys are getting ready to step into something extremely beautiful, all right? Um, it's your it's your soul purpose. You're stepping into your soul purpose here? Yeah. Just don't let the devil fool you. 
Don't let them trick you into something that looks nice, bright, and shiny. And really, it could be a nightmare or some sort of trap waiting. Tell me about career energy. Yeah. You need to pay attention to the red flags. And I feel like if you miss them, you would end up... You would end up... Um, it's kind of like making a wrong turn. So it's... Have you ever seen like when... In the movies when someone is driving down the road and someone sets up some sort of booby trap or detour to get someone alone and you know, off to another direction where they want to rob them or do something weird or hijack their car. Well, it's kind of like that. Spirit says, don't let that happen to you when it comes to your career. Don't let somebody hijack you or take you in a different direction. Don't let someone do that. I also see that you have a queen of pentacles energy. Now, this could be you or something you might be looking for another job at this time. Look, I'm telling you, you cannot make this up. It's the Hero Font and the Justice card again. Some of you guys, you you really are looking into a career within the law, you know, and you could already be a lawyer here. And so you're manifesting. Um, people want to, I think there's multiple people who possibly want to date you and it could be on the job. And that's why you're like, no, I can't deal with this. You're, you're looking at the whole dating scene like this is for the birds. You think that people lie. You think that they don't tell the truth. Um, I also see someone here, you could be getting in a relationship. Some of you guys are going to be getting, um, this is career though. Some of you guys, you're in law. I see a lawyer of some sort. I see something here in law. Yeah. Maybe you're in family court at that, or you do something in a legal way that makes people very, very happy. Yeah, it does. There's something here. Maybe you guys are going to end up being some sort of preacher where you can, where you like conduct marriages or something along those lines. I don't know why, but if this is career, this is the opportunity to do so many different things after someone told you that you didn't have the strength or you didn't have what was needed in order to get things done. And that's the what that's the lack that I see here. Um, some of you guys might be having an issue when it comes to your car and trying to get to work as well. I feel like your manager will um, take care of you. There's going to be someone that backs you up. There's going to be someone that helps you in some way, shape, or form. You guys might have a benefactor, especially if you don't have enough money to fix your car to get to work. You'll have a benefactor because the main boss is just kind of watching and stalking and i'm picking up on a warning where if you're having issues with your car you need to be there like when you're supposed to be there okay because here you are right here in this energy um you also might be the boss and if you're dealing with something you could be having issues at work the other thing is is that if you were dating someone at work this person has ghosted and moved on to possibly the new person on the job. And you're learning now that that's just what this person does. They're kind of egotistical and they play the field. But you don't have to worry about that because you're moving into something blessed and abundant. Just don't take the loser with you. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. That's what they said. Don't take the loser with you because this is you. If you need to rock it solo, dolo, do that. You get dressed every morning and you put this on. Yeah, you've got servants, whatever it is that you have bringing you your, your grapes. You don't really have to stress for anything. You really don't. I feel like you know that you just need to have some sort of patience and everything that you're working towards will come forward and towards you. Um, high Priestess Energy. I feel like there could be some sort of knowing here as well. There's a lot of intuition when it comes to your career. Yeah, look, and then there's an emperor. What You're going to let your intuition kind of guide you in the right direction. And I think you make the right choice about whatever this is. I also see, yeah, listen, you got the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles again. Your love life, your money, and your career all center around they all center around each other. Some of you guys, I don't date people I work with, but some of you guys could be dating someone that you work with. And after all of this, and I, I feel like if 
if that was the horrible relationship, you now get to step into a new one here. You just have to be a little more patient. Um, some of you guys, I'm seeing that your friend sets you up with somebody. Some of you guys, you live in New York. I just keep seeing New York with this reading for some reason. Um, you live in you live in New York, or you live in a place that looks like New York. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's time. It's time. So overall spiritual message, the world card and the two of cups. You're ending cycles so that you can begin new things. I told you, this is about your soul purpose with that world card. And spirit is like, look, you just need to get to work. You need to, to love on yourself enough to where all of these blessings and, and lucky things come your way. So it's up to you. It's definitely free will with this reading, the choices that you're making. You keep using your intuition is also what I'm picking up on with this. So you guys, Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. The Vimeo extended link to this energy is going to be below. Come on over there, join me. Let's see if it resonates. And I love you guys bunches. I will see you around very, very soon. Peace and out, Book Grace.